Three, two, one. Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, like always, appreciate you swinging by and watching a video. Uh, tonight's episode, we're going to feature one out of uh, De Claw Brewing out of uh, Baltimore, Maryland. This here is their uh, Sour Me, their uh, Wild Cherry Sour L. Uh, this here is clocking in at 5.5% uh, alcohol by volume. And uh, I don't have an IBU on this one here. Uh, if I find one, it will be in the description as usual. Uh, this here, uh, I've had the uh, Sour Me, the Blueberry, which was pretty damn good. Um, this here is actually a, a Sour at 5.5% alcohol, uh, right where I like it. Just exactly what I like, so I do have high expectations for this beer. Uh, you see on the back here, it's got some writing there. I'll go ahead and read that real quick. It says, Awaken your senses with this tart, sweet, sour me wild cherry. We introduce real wild Bing cherries to our favorite kettle sour, resulting in a deep ruby color and aromas that excite. For the optimal wild uh, cherry experience, enjoy from a glass. So I'm going to use the tulip glass here. Hopefully we can get some, generate some type of a nice aroma uh, on this here. Uh, as far as the artwork on this here, uh, I'm going to give it about a three and a half out of five. Um, I actually like the bright red color, the black writing, uh, the white here, uh, wild cherry. Um, it actually sticks out quite a bit on the shelf, and that's kind of what I look for when I'm walking in there. Um, these, these, the can art is just pretty kick-ass or really bright colors. Those are the ones that just pop and, you know, draw you to that, and then to me... I get drawn to that, then I just start looking around in the area at my bottle shop. So, uh, this here, um, I do like it here. It does uh, put you in remind of that, uh, like a Coca Cola type of can. So, that's what the vibe is to me. I did pay uh, $2.89 uh, for this can. So, I am expecting um, something very good with this here. Wild cherry. I'm hoping for a lot of cherry. Hoping for a nice sourness to this thing. Let's crack her open. Get a pour on it. Oh wow, that does look like a, that is a nice ruby red type of color on this thing here. Wow. Took a cheat sip there. Didn't want to run it down the can. And I know I'm in for something good here. Let's see here. A little bit of a dirty glass here. All right, so just as it says, just a nice ruby color, a darker red ruby color. Uh, the head on it, we're looking at uh, about a finger and a half here. <clears throat> um, maybe a slight reddish, well, I guess it'd be pinkish tint to this head right here on this one. So um, it looks pretty darn good. This is about... Uh, the color I was expecting even before I read uh, read the can here, so uh, definitely looks good. There's some carbonation um, building up in here, or carbonation bubbles in here. So let's get our nose on this and uh, see what it's all about. Honestly, not picking up a ton of anything. There's some cherry there. Typical um, typical sour smell to this. That sour L uh, aroma. Outside of that, some mild cherry, so uh, I'm really hoping for some cherry here in, in the uh, taste on this thing. So let's go ahead and get a drink on it. Wow. There's a lot of cherry there. Sour. Uh, not, uh, a fantastic sourness to this. Really tart cherry, medium bodied. Super crisp finish to this. I mean, man, this is really good. I knew this was going to be good going into this. Well, I had a strong feeling, anyhow, this is going to be good going into this. But, uh,. Yeah, very good here. Let's see what the, the bottom of the can has to offer here. Oh, man. 
fantastic. So, lots and lots of uh, cherry in this. It, it's it's to me very present in the uh, in the taste here. Um, when it says cherry, yeah, it is cherry. Cherry sour. Um, the tartness of the cherry along with the sour is just fantastic. Five and a half percent alcohol. Can't taste any of it at all. So this is a dangerous beer. Um, something that's to make it sit around and drink uh, quite a bit of. Now there, look at that color there. Now that the rest of it's in there. All the dirty glass, the carbonation is cleared out of the way. Just look at that, man. But it's just a pretty looking beer. Uh, Tetning hops is what is in this thing here. As far as scoring this bad boy, four and a half out of five um, up here on the chart. Four and a half out of five all day long. This is something I go out of my, um, you know, I drink this anytime it's available. I don't know if I'd go out of my way to pick it up all of the time. But man, I would more than drink this anytime it's available. This is a, a fantastic tasting beer. Um, I'm gonna have no problem finishing this off here after I uh, get done recording this. So, uh, you've had this before. You've had um, anything from the, the sour me stuff, the blueberry one, or this one here, or whatever. Uh, drop a comment down below. I'd be very uh, curious to see uh, if anybody else picks up the, uh, the cherry uh, like I do in this, um, which is just fantastic, by the way. Um, if you hadn't figured that out. Um, anyhow, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, check me out on social media. Uh, this is a home run from Duclaw Brewing. Um, this is, uh, I believe, I like this better than the blueberry. I can't remember what I scored it, but head-to-head, -head, if I had a choice, I would definitely pick this one up over there at Blueberry. I think it was like a blueberry IPA or something. I, don't, I can't remember what it was. But uh, anyhow... That's my thoughts.